So over the last couple of weeks, we've covered five features from iOS 17, watchOS 10, and now it's time for iPadOS 17. Uh, so these are five features that you should definitely check out the moment you get the beta installed or if you wait for the public beta. I think these are the five features that you're definitely going to want to know about. So we'll start with the lock screen because the lock screen is now something that you can customize just like you do on your iPhone. So if you long press on your lock screen, you'll get a very familiar UI where you can swipe down uh, or swipe back and forth and you can create a new one. So we'll go ahead and just create a new one real quick just so you can see what options you get. And of course, you're going to start with your wallpaper. You can go through all of the options. Again, this is just like what you would get on your iPhone. Uh, you do have this astronomy one, which is pretty cool. Uh, just like your iPhone. Again, all of this is very sim similar. Uh, but you can see where you're at. You can do Earth detail, Moon detail, Mars, all of that stuff. Um, or you can pick through some of the cool wallpapers that are available. We'll do that. We'll pick on one of those widgets here at the top. You can do anything. We'll do the conditions. Then you can adjust the clock. You can make the font bigger or smaller. That was new actually in iOS 17, so now it's on iPadOS. Uh, and you can have the colors kind of match the theme of what you're going with via your wallpaper, or you can pick a custom one. Uh, but I kind of like it to match there so that the text throughout your lock screen kind of meshes with what your wallpaper is working with. And of course, there are different fonts available. But the one thing that is new is actually our second feature, and that is the ability to add widgets on your lock screen, and they're interactive as well. And the interactive widgets do not just stop at your lock screen. They carry on to your home screen or wherever you might have widgets, but we'll get to that in just a second. So if you go here, you can see that you have the option to add widgets to the left side of your screen. And so they're very similar widgets to the ones that you get on iOS, but you put them on the left side and you can stack a lot more of them and then they become a little bit more useful. Uh, and especially since they're interactive. So if I add the home widget, uh, let's add a couple of different home widgets here. I like the home controls one. Um, and then I can add, let's see, do Spotify, I guess, things and the weather, big one there. And then let's do one more, maybe notes and a small news one, maybe. There's a small news one. Okay. So then here are your widgets. Uh, you can go ahead and choose the different like kind of overlays. Again, this kind of goes, I like the deep. Let's keep it like that. And you hit add. And you can set as a wallpaper pair. So let's go ahead and do that. Or you can customize your home screen if you need to. And then there you go. So now when you get onto your uh, iPad and you look at the lock screen, you have a lot more information from these widgets. And again, they are interactive. So I can turn off that light, turn it back on. And then as I mentioned earlier, you not only have widgets on the lock screen, but you do get interactive widgets on your home screen. So obviously getting widgets on your home screen isn't uh, something that's new, but them being interactive throughout the entire OS is awesome. So I can't wait to see what third party developers do with interactive widgets on your home screen throughout iPad OS, iOS and Mac OS. So number three is actually the health app. It's not a feature, but it is an app that a lot of people have wanted on the iPad. And now you get this really nice full fledged iPad app. So you can see, you know, when you first open it up, you've got your quick summary here. Uh, you can see some notifications, scroll through some articles, highlights, trends, all of that is portrayed here. If you have sharing with your family, you can go to the sharing tab. So basically all the stuff on the left, the little sidebar here uh, will give you everything that you need to know. And I really do like this setup. It's taking advantage of the iPads, you know, big screen real estate. And so you can go through your activity, body measurement, cycle tracking, hearing, heart, medications, your mental well-being. So when you're logging, so which part of your iOS uh, new feature with mindfulness and everything, uh, you can add in your mindful minutes. And if you're, you know, logging in your state of mind, that'll all be here. Uh, mobility, nutrition, sleep, respiratory rates, all of that is here. And then you have your health records. And so there's a lot of screen real estate on the iPad. I totally understand why people wanted a health app and I'm glad to see it here in iPad OS 17. So number four, if you're somebody who uses your iPad for PDFs and notes, so we have enhanced autofill, which will allow the iPad to identify fields in a PDF or scan documents. So you're going to get your names, your addresses, email addresses, and other just information that you can be added from contact cards, which is so much easier uh, when you're filling out a PDF. And there's also a new feature for collaborating on PDFs with others. 
directly through the notes app, which is pretty cool. And another improvement with the notes app and a PDF is that you can get a PDF to show up in full width for quick annotations with your Apple pencil. And lastly, stage manager in iPad OS 17 is so much more useful now because let me show you that you can now finally resize and place apps almost anywhere on the screen that you'd like. And that's a huge improvement for us who have been wanting to multitask. So if you go down here, you can see that resizing them into almost any size is pretty much happening now. I mean, if you want to make a bunch of vertical apps, then you can add in the files app and we can resize this and you can place them anywhere. So now we have two apps side by side and look at that. We have room for a third app. So now we have room for a third app and we can add YouTube in. And so now look, I have three apps running simultaneously. Look, I can, I can literally scroll through at the same time. So it seems like four apps might be the limit, but I think that's plenty. And I am very, very grateful with what you can do with stage manager now in iPad OS 17. And also in iPad OS 17 comes external camera support. And when you're using stage manager on something like a studio display, you can actually use the camera from the studio display as an external webcam. So that's really, really helpful. It's making the iPad even more of a laptop replacement with these extra features from stage manager and external camera support. And those are the five features, but of course we're going to be doing a much bigger deep dive in iPad OS 17 along with all of the other betas in the next coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And of course, uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.